Hi, Chili Heads, this is Claude Dubé. Today, a review on yet another sauce sent to me by uh, Mr. Paul Williams in Australia. Of course, it's a artisan sauce uh, and it's called Tomato Trauma. So, uh, contrary to the first two uh, sauces he had sent in, we do have an ingredients list on this one. So, let me read you the ingredients. So, there are Maruga scorpions. Fresh tomato, fresh coriander, onion, garlic, ginger, apple cider vinegar, honey, and spices. So, let's go ahead and appreciate its aroma. Oh my. Fresh coriander, you say? Mmm, better believe it. Oh yeah, that coriander stands right up, right up. Very first, you know. Aroma you pick is the coriander. Then you pick those. Hmm. Those peppers. Can actually smell the heat. Hmm. Tomatoes are kind of standing behind. You do pick them, but very faint. Also pick up some of the garlic. Hmm. I'm not picking up the vinegar. That's a plus with me. I'm not much of a vinegar based guy, so not much vinegar is just fine with me. So lots of coriander. Getting those peppers, tomatoes, and some of the garlic. Very nice aroma. Very nice. A very solid seven for this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a coriander lover. I love Asian food. They use a lot of coriander in there. Mm. I use it a lot myself when I cook. So, let's give this a little taste. Let's see. Let's see what kind of flavor we get out of this one. See, as I said, it's pretty thick sauce. No chunks, no seeds, though. So, but very thick. Mmm. 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 Of course, you get that coriander. Coriander is very, very, very present. And see, as I let it sat on my tongue, I was getting some sweetness in there. It's the sweetness of the honey. The tongue picks up the honey right away. Couldn't, couldn't get it in the aroma. But my tongue picked it up right away. I'm not getting the vinegar. I do get that coriander. Those peppers, even the tomato is faint in there. Could it be a little too much coriander after all? Mmm. Also picking up now the garlic. Mmm. Not actually, <coughs> not actually picking up the ginger. But I, I can feel it's in there. Ginger has tendency to hit me right underneath the tip of the tongue and can feel it. Let me get another sip of this one. Just another bit of it. Yep. Mmm. By the way, the first hit on the tongue is the sweetness from that honey. Then your mouth gets invaded with that uh, coriander. Mmm. Slowly those peppers are making their place in. And still the tomato kind of remains in the back. Hmm. Wish I had those tomatoes stand out a little more. Though, very nice. Very nice. Pretty sure it would go well with just about anything. Especially if you like coriander. Because uh, tomatoes are good 
uh, will go well with red meat, white meat, uh, seafood, fish, uh, just about anything but ice cream, of course. So let's have it on a piece of sandwich, as usual. My traditional roast beef sandwich on rye, with nothing else but the sauce. Mmm. As you can see, we can actually pile it on. Mmm. Mm. You know, my tongue actually picks up that honey right away. Right, 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 right away. Mm. I can feel the heat now starting to build in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Sweetness of the honey. That was coriander is actually invading my mouth. And now the peppers are making their way in. And the tomato is kind of shy of, you know, coming up. Hmm. It's called tomato trauma, so I want to vote, you know, tomato to stand out a little bit more. Though it's there, it's pretty faint, you know, behind those peppers and coriander. Maybe just a bit too much coriander in there. Could maybe cut a little bit on that. Still, a very great flavor. And I'm going to be pouring that until that bottle is empty. <laughs> I love coriander, so. Gonna have this with some, you'll know, have some fried rice. Mmm. Just pouring on. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, flavor, again. Uh, strong seven. Very strong seven. Oh. Mm, seven and a half. You know, I, I love the, uh, the coriander flavor. I love also the uh, the flavor of the pepper in there. Very, very nice. And the heat, hmm, see? So I get a bit of sweat here. So the heat, a nice solid heat, because very nice heat, almost a full burn, a full mouth burn. I'm getting it on the palate, the tongue, tip of the tongue, the lips. You know, the usual jaw will be running for milk for sure. A very nice burn. Now, something that made me laugh when I first looked at that label was this mention here. Uh, a, ta a taste of the zest will put hairs on your chest. <laughs> I had a laugh at that, and I mentioned it to Paul, uh, who also mentioned back that uh, he, since then, he had changed that, uh, that mention to a taste of this fruit will give you a boot, since tomato is actually a fruit. Uh, also, something else he told me had changed, and this is a first announcement worldwide. Uh, Auburn chili will be changed to all burn chili since Mr. Williams has officially set up his business, uh, his own hot sauce business. Uh, he received all the correct uh, clearances and paperwork for it. And we wish you to know that uh, eventually. Uh, it will be officially available, and he'll keep you posted on our Odd Sauce Facebook page. So be aware, keep watching. Uh, Paul is coming with his own line of sauces. Uh, I can tell you one thing, they're going to be hot. I've had three of them yet. The Blazing Plum, uh, the Pineapple Panic, and now the Tomato Trauma. All sauces were made with Maruga. were very hot, but also very tasty. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.